Seven points. Yeah. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is going to last much longer. Yeah, I think that might be the end of that. Matteo Berrettini has seen enough. Oh, Paul Garuna just blowing him off court in seven games and 28 minutes. Berrettini clearly struggling with a physical issue of some description. Oh, I think the crowd need a bit of understanding here. I mean, they're, yes, they're frustrated because they would have really looked forward to this one, but given the injury problems he's had, I'm 100% going to be in his corner. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It's a torrid year for him last year. I mean, I guess what's worked against him, Sue, has actually been the, 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 the rain delay, so they didn't actually know that he had... Advantage. Zverev. Well. Yeah. He, he correct himself. You hit the ball into the net, or then he said correction. So it didn't affect the, the shot. The, the so out court. You're saying he didn't make a call. He made the call and but correct he, himself. He say said, fault. He said correction late. Absolutely. He yeah, but the, the out court of the line but did not affect your shot. Hundred percent for me. Okay. Okay. Advantage. Very controversial. Need to look at. Well, he puts that away, and this could be an interesting conversation at the change of ends. Murray is broken. Is five games to four. The racket. Tempted to see the call did come after. He said out put in correction. He said out correction. I heard I heard the call, but then he said correction straight away. He choked it. He choked like out correction. Yes, please, yeah, please. How much? 56, I will call. Got him. Second saved. Good hustle from Grigor this time. Kind of missed by much. Is it good? Is it over? It is. What a way to convert match point. What a match. Saves two match points en route to a famous victory. And he's back in the semi-finals here in Rotterdam. What a thriller that was. It. 
He had no right to win this point. He had no right to even stay in it. I thought this one was an incredible shot. The blows keep coming. He's missed that. How? Fritz was nowhere. It didn't have to be that good. Oh, it was good. And look at Taylor Fritz. Stunner. How this feels. Tommy Paul knows. I mean, what a get this was, given his struggles. Tommy Paul would have been getting match point flashback. Two gladiators. She plays so quick, the American. Unfortunate because you have to apply the rule. Sorry to say, you can't give Paul a warning and not Fritz. Just when you thought you'd seen it all in this match. He 
shovels that over the net. He's struggling big time. the play what a glorious grueling gutsy battle three hours and 25 minutes between these two great friends warriors out there tonight an hour and 50 minutes after his first match point Tommy Paul finds a way through to a first ATP Tour 500 final. He's far too tired to enjoy it or even begin to make sense of what happened out there. For the victor, the spoils, for the loser, it's... that was there was plenty of space and Murray The Andy Murray miracle in Doha will lead all the way to the final. What was the center line football? Footfall. Yeah, I don't remember them saying the footfall call came too early. This is Doru. No, no, but he's, the footfall is called only after he hit the ball, not before the ball is dropped. This is Doru. Yeah. Well, this is a, an interesting one. I totally agree, but this, I do this, no, 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 I don't know, it was, it was the half, so I don't know. Yeah, but why. whatsoever, no, no, no. now whatsoever, the call has to come. Yeah, the call came too early. I'm with Djokovic here, Mikey, I have to say. Personally, I, 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 the foot fault is if the, the foot crosses the line during the service motion, not when they hit the ball. So if he starts his motion with the foot over the line, no, I think that's a foot fault. But she can go after you hit the ball. It's an ability to do it. <laughs> well, what a start. There he goes again, big return, charges forward afterwards, makes Norrie try and find the pass, and it's Carlos Alcaraz. Well, he kind of knew that uh, it wasn't just going to be straightforward for Alcaraz to close that deciding set out. Oof. Clip the net on the way through.
Oh, just enormous hitting. And chalk another one up. Oh. oh, no way. I think it's wide, though. Cam Norrie looks very confident. <laughs> That would have been ridiculous. Carlos Bernardes, however, thinks sure. it's in. Yeah. Well, it looked as though he'd fought back there, Carlos Alcaraz from Love 40. Was never going to be easy, was it? Cam Norrie is the 2023 Rio Open presented by Claro champion. One of the most amazing and bizarre finals you're likely to see. And a really nice embrace between the two at the net. He gets his revenge, Norrie. Oh, he wasn't able to get there. That's a heavy fall. Ugo and Bear at full stretch. Oh, he banged his head as well. Yeah. Davidovich for Kina absolutely racing to see that Ugo and Bear's okay, but he threw himself at that ball. Oh, that is lovely to see, but also not lovely to see comforting Ugo and Bear because he's clearly in a lot of pain. Yeah, and he's, he's reluctant to, to move too much at the yeah. moment. We are hoping the physio and the, the doctor can get there very quickly, but uh, Davidovic Fikina looks pretty concerned here. He gave his head a mighty whack as well on the court. Yeah. Because he was travelling so fast. We await the arrival of the, the medical team. It's a worry, though. Hugo and Bear is flat out still. Christian Rask down from his chair. He's blinking away the tears. Well, that will do for the set. Is that that for the match? Seven games to six, so one set on. Davidovic Fikina has hit back here. And he might just be keeping an eye on Ugo and Bear to see what... Yep, that's going to be the end of that. Well, I think that was expected, wasn't it? A handshake and a hug, and... One, six, seven, six, he is going to have to uh, retire from this match, Ugo and Bear. It was a really... Heavy fall in that tie break. And Davidovich Fikina, who knows a thing or two about jumping around the court, falling around the court. He was racing right over there to see how the Frenchman was. And he was first on the scene. And he's giving some uh, very warm words here is Davidovich Fikina, who will move on here in Montpellier. It's so disappointing for Ugo and Bert. And uh, Davidovich Fikina, somewhat apologetically to this Montpellier crowd, just says thank you very much and correction ball good oh. the points oh, this yoke livid 
because he knows Korda will have another chance of a first serve. It's very similar to the situation he was in yesterday when he had a meltdown. Very quick overall. Can't be annoyed with the umpire. He's got to be annoyed with it. the line judge. Good job. Oh, fantastic play from Seb Corder. Comfortably the tightest set that these two have ever played. But once again, it is Seb Corder who has won it. Nishioka not happy with the line call towards the back end of that tiebreaker. It's not I love, man. Why is it important points? You don't know important points, but you never play tennis. You don't know. You don't know. It was a mistake. I agree it was a mistake. Yeah, but you guys didn't play anything really be too frustrated with Simon Canavan because he actually did a good job with the overall. But either way, it's Corda who's taking the opener here, 7-6. I corrected it. It was a mistake. It was unfortunate. You know what? OK, I want to say the point was a mistake. I want to replay. I want to replay again. Because I didn't do any mistake. I understand you're frustrated. I didn't do any mistake. What did I do? I understand that you're frustrated with the call, but now... I don't care. You guys understand yeah. or you don't understand. It doesn't matter. It does it's, matter. It's not going to be changing anything, man. That's why I'm upset. We corrected the mistake, so we replayed the point. Now, it's done. We can't change it. Yeah, now I brought the point. And now I brought the set. Yeah. For those of you that haven't been with us, Nishioka spent the whole of the sit-down berating Simon Canavan, who really has just been saying all he can say, it's done. I lost the prize money, I'm not going to lose the point. And Time. He's just sitting over there. He's eating like the best dinner at night. That's all. That's enough. That's all. It's enough. It's not enough. It's I'm not going to change anything. I'm giving you 30 seconds from now to go back and play. You've made your point. We move on. You guys don't understand anything from yesterday. From yesterday. Well, the reason he's saying from yesterday is because something similar happened yesterday. And, and again, he completely lost his temper at the umpire yesterday. So he's clearly amped up. Code violation, unsportsmanlike conduct, yeah. warning, Mr. Nishio. That's understandable from Simon Canavan. Wow. C zero six zero ballet. Five. The good news is he's got plenty of other rackets. Well, oh, that's going to get the treatment as well. Three, four. Okay. Well, this is getting out of hand now. Well, I think that gives us a little indication of where his mindset is at right now.